मैं बताऊं क्या ये आज देखिए ये ये होता है एक्टिव प्रोफेशन आज उनका आखिरी दिन है प्रोफेशन में इस पद ये में तो मैं निवेदन करूंगा कि आप लोग सब खड़े होके Good afternoon, and uh, thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Rana Ji. Uh, now it's yours. When I was coming to the dais, I was thinking I'll ask, "How's the Josh? How's the Josh? That's good. How many of young veterinarians they want to join army, RVC?" So I'm happy that uh, many of the young veterinarians, veterinarians, they are interested in joining army. So in the uh, next 15 or 20 minutes, I shall tell you in brief about the role and opportunities a veterinarians, a veterinarian has in army. at the outset uh, i wish to convey my sincere thanks to uh, dr uc sharma for giving me this opportunity to come to this august gathering about a week or 10 days back we had a interaction that time he told that we must have some talk about rvc and uh, just treat animals but in rvc we have multifaceted role that i'll be briefing you and after going through the uh, slides presentation definitely you will uh, try your hard to join rvc wish you all a very happy world veterinary day and i'm lucky that on on the last day of my uh, uh, superannuation in the uniform i am here interacting with all the veterinarian across the country all armies across world they use they have been using animals since time immemorial they have been using horses camel elephants dog and so many animals earlier the animals were used for the transportation as a force multiplier even in the new era when lot of technological developments have taken place and so much of advancement is there almost all the armies still they have animals either for draft purpose for the transportation or as a force multiplies in context to indian army so there is a lot of infrastructure development in the borders but we have mountains more than 3000 km area which is aligned with china and a difficult terrain where we cannot have any other means except that mules animals horses and due to insurgency and other internal issues we have our army dogs which are deployed and they have really done a wonderful job so these two species of animals equines and canines we are using in in an army and hello no in army see <coughs> no main job our main job is to treat animals we have been participating in various in various campaigns 
during World War One, World War Two, and whenever army was army had been called for the operations, either during internal instability or external aggression, we have been actively participating. Our officers, JCOs, Jawans, they have defended the nation and they have earned the uh, laurels. With regards to history of uh, RV6, 244 years old organization in uh, Indian Army, one of the oldest organization. And it was actually started as a stud department in West Bengal, where Imperial Army wanted uh, good horses and good mules for their fast transportation. So in 1979, uh, stud department was established. In, 19, in 1920, the name of stud department was changed to Army Veterinary Corps. In 1947, that, uh, before 1947, military forms were separate from RBC. In 1947, military forms got merged with the RBC, making it as RV, uh, RVFC, Indian Remount Veterinary Farm Corps. In 1960, military forms got separated and the name RBC Remount Veterinary Corps Corps came into existence. In 1960 only, the first dog training school in India was established at RBC Hinton College, Merrick Tent. And then uh, subsequently we had color presentation also. So this was a brief about the history which we have in RBC. As a role of a veterinarian in RBC is, as I told you, it is uh, multifaceted. In case a veterinarian is posted in the uh, breeding studs, he will be doing equine breeding. In case he is posted in a uh, canine unit in RBC Central College, he will be focused on canine breeding, canine training. In case he is posted with the veterinary hospital, main job is to look after veterinary aspects of those animals, those who are deployed in his AOR, area of responsibility. In case the officer is posted in NCC units, his main job is to train young students, young cadets into riding. So, as a whole, a veterinarian in RBC has a multifaceted task. No single day is the same day. Every day he has a different challenges, different work and different tasks to perform. This will be uh, very important for the young veterinarians, those who are aspiring to join RBC. First time in the history of RBC or in the history of veterinary profession, vacancies for the lady veterinarians have been released. And actually this is uh, because of their aspiration, their demand. Every day we were receiving letters from our uh, lady veterinarians that why, why uh, lady veterinarians are not there in RBC. So we took up a case. It though took about one and a half years or two years, but finally four vacancies have been released for Lady Veterans. Total vacancies released are 20. Mm. And uh, last date for uh, submission of application to our directorate at Army headquarters is 10th of June. Those who, are, those who have completed the uh, degree, they can apply. After scrutiny of applications, in case applications are okay, we send it to recruiting directorate. Then they detail you to 
go for the SSV service uh, service selection board and after SSV and completion of your medical and once you complete your medical invariably you get into merit and once you are into merit then you are uh, asked to join RBC Sutton College for post commissioning training as young officers. This training earlier used to be 24 weeks, now it has been reduced to 20 weeks. And within these 20 weeks or 5 months, we really changed a civilian perspective to completely transform into a OG component. You yourself, definitely you will feel whenever you, your friend or yourself, they go and join army or RBC and after the training, once he is back and you can see the transformation in his character, in his personality. That is the training which we give in this uh, 20 weeks or uh, 5 months. After the training of uh, 5 weeks, he is posted to one of the establishments. The main, main problem is to get through the SSV. Last year also we had 20 vacancies. We received approximately 500 applications of which around 400 we accepted, about 100 uh, applications got rejected because of various reasons, because they had not completed BBSA or uh, some finalist students or internship students, they also applied. So out of these uh, 400 applicants, Four only one candidate one got selected through SSP. Mm -hmm. This on the mm -hmm. uh, last year vacancies. We again re advertise these vacancies, these 19 vacancies. Again, SSB was done, and only three uh, candidates they got selected. So, those who are aspiring to join RBC, this is the time you must prepare yourself. You must have or you must imbibe officer like qualities. What they see at SSB, you should know how the test is done, how the test is conducted. In our time when we appeared in SSB, I appeared uh, SSB 36 years back at SSB Allahabad. That time there used to be no screening. Now they have screening and maximum rejection is at the first day itself. We tried uh, to persuade our higher authorities that screening should not be there in RBC, but somehow they did agree. So first day, what are the tests which you will be facing, what you, which, you, 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 which you are supposed to do on first day, that you should know. And once you are through your first day, your chances of selection probably increases 70-80%. So my advice or summation to all young graduates here sitting here or those who are maybe online that start preparing. June is the last day, within a month or so, we'll, uh, after scrutinizing your applications, we'll send it to the recruiting directorate and by September, October, you will get a call in case your application is accepted. So by that time, you should be mentally and physically, physically also, physically also you should be prepared. Uh, I was really surprised when I was at uh, Lucknow and I happened to visit one of the selection centers at Lava about five, five or six years back and Luckily, that time one SSB of young veterinarians was going on. The present uh, selection board showed me the physical fitness. Really, I was really uh, taken back that young young uh, boys they were not able to complete their physical testing. So, physical test is also very very important. This is also for uh, young lady veterinarians those who are interested in joining. RBC and this will be a history for them. First time they will be joining RBC. So you must definitely 
utilize this chance and uh, ensure that you get through that. That jazba, the joy should be there in you. In case you want to get training, coaching, any help, you definitely can write to us. We can guide you, or you can join any training institute in case it is close by your area now. So this is a golden opportunity. I'm telling you, for all those who want to don this uh, olive green uniform, I want to remain in uh, um, services. And regarding career progression, it's such a fantastic uh, organization. You will be joining as captain. The day you report to RBC Central College, you'll be captain. <coughs> With three stars, after four years you will be major. After eleven, eleven and a half years you will be lieutenant colonel. And after sixteen or seventeen years, your board for seventeen years, eighteen years, your board for full colonel will be there. Then brigadier, major, lieutenant colonel, and we are lucky to have. First lieutenant general with us, General Mohanty. He was the first lieutenant general of RBC. And it, it actually was his efforts that he brought uh, RBC to this level. He is a great surgeon, served in many, many uh, different places, including. This is bodyguard for four or five years. So these are the opportunities uh, which you will be having uh, in case you join RBC. With regards to pay bank, because maximum youngsters they are more interested how much uh, salary I'll get. So I can you uh, uh, I can assure you. The pay band uh, seven or eight, exactly I don't remember. But handsome salary you will be getting, and NBA plus all other facilities like canteen, travel, and there are so many facilities army persons, uh, army personnel, army officers they have. So these all facilities you will be getting. That's who said that. That's my come. Work horizon. I have told you earlier. You will be working in. In case you are there, in uh, wet hospitals, we have uh, hospitals in field, operational areas, advanced field wet hospital, mobile field wet hospitals. Where mostly you will be uh, dealing with wounds and all. Then we have in uh, peace, MVH military wet hospitals. Associated with the training establishments where we have horses. Then we have a CNBL Central Military Veterinary Laboratory. Those who are MBSC in uh, clinic, uh, paraclinical subjects, like I myself is a microbiologist, and most of the time I have served in CNBL as a lab officer twice and as a commandant. So those who are MBSC, they have also various specialized places in RBC where they'll. Get a preference to serve. In CMBL, we have diagnostic and research facility. This is the only veterinary lab which is NAB accredited. We have two studs where uh, breeding is done. Uh, two training, uh, two training establishments for remounts horses, where uh, training of uh, uh, horses and mules is carried out. The main, our main, our main establishment is RBC Central College, that is Merit, and uh, commanded by Major General General Batra is there. He is from HAU Hisar. I am also from HAU Hisar. <laughs> I, I graduated in uh, 1987. Sorry, uh, 87. I joined Army. I graduated in 84. I joined Veterinary College in 1980. Then I did my uh, graduation, uh, post graduation microbiology in eighty seven, and immediately I joined uh, RBC. So RBC Center and College at Merit is an alma mater.
where we have four faculties and the training of officers jcs or means all ranks is carried out there you will be doing various courses so regularly you will be coming to all central college in case uh, you get enrolled and it is definitely uh, uh, close by only at uh, merit uh, about 60 kilometers from delhi in case you happen to be around you must go and visit this facility and uh, that will definitely inspire you to join army and rbc next is equine breeding studs we have two breeding studs at hisar and babugar we carry out we uh, uh, carry out the breeding of horses breeding of mules mules we have two types mule artillery ma we call them mule gs jan service because of development of infrastructure in uh, border areas in uh, field uh, requirement of mule ma has gone down so the now breeding of ma has been stopped but uh, mule gs definitely requirement is there though requirement has gone down and uh, these are very old old establishments like uh, babugar is 1811 it was established in 1811 and then when there was requirement of additional uh, mules then uh, eds hisar was established in 1960 we have two uh, remount training establishments at sarnpur and hempur hempur is sarnpur you know is close to gurki or deradun hempur is just adjacent to jim corbett park and these are the training establishments where we train our mules and horses in uh, abs equine breeding stud the animals or young animals are kept up to 6 month of age and after that they are transferred to rtsnd remote training school and depots there they are reared once they grow uh, mature then they are put into training and then issued to different units central military veterinary laboratory i have already explained this one of the best lab in india only a veterinary lab which is nab accredited then uh, we also get after doing a dog training course at army central college to uh, command the unit rbc in army is one of the best organization because at a very young age at the at the service of you can say 4 5 years you get a chance to command the troops in other armed and services like infantry you really have to serve for more than 15 16 years to get a chance to become an officer commanding but in rbc that uh, is there that within 5 6 years after doing Uh, dog training course you get a chance to command army dog units where dogs of different specialty are uh, posted there and uh, utilized in different environment you will be happy to know that uh, during covid time we were the uh, uh, one we could train uh, covid detection dogs and uh, this was really appreciated by everybody so initially there were many many apprehensions in the mind of uh, medical people they say how a dog can detect uh, covid in humans but uh, these dogs were put into scrutiny many times by uh, amc army medical corps and every time every time i was there in uh, uh, that testing 100% uh, result was given by these dogs Dogs were deployed at our transient camps where troops used to come from uh, various places after chutti, after leave, and they used to be screened. Actually, uh, we used to screen their uh, urine uh, for detection of uh, uh, COVID. And this actually uh, first time uh, training of a dog for medical detection was done, and this can give you a thought or process. that if dogs can be uh, trained to detect other human ailments like cancer 
or uh, other other diseases which cannot be detected. So if uh, these are different specialties which we have in dogs, like explosive detection dogs, avalanche rescue dogs, guard dogs, and we have approximately uh, eight nine disciplines uh, in dogs uh, where uh, they are deployed. Uh, field vet hospitals, these are in the operational areas and mostly deals with the uh, animals, those are deployed in the field. Uh, we have uh, NCC, RMB Squadron, the students, those who are studying in veterinary colleges, they must be doing. And this is a great opportunity for them to learn riding and uh, they definitely have an upper hand or an edge uh, compared to other students because one RBC officer is posted there and he can guide you how to get through uh, SSP. So this is a golden opportunity in case you have RMB squadron close by in your college, in your veterinary university. So definitely you must go and contact and get the guidance uh, regarding SSP and all. And uh, when we are posted to a field area, like in JNK or Northeast, we not only deal with the army animals, we get a chance to treat a civilian animals also. For so that, we definitely get the funding. We got a cooperation Sadhbhavana, of Sadhbhavana. And uh, uh, more than uh, 1 lakh 50,000 approximately animals are treated by uh, RBC vets in uh, different areas, in operational areas. So that time also, uh, you get to uh, treat other species which are not uh, in army. In a UN mission also, United Nations, we have uh, five officers where they are detailed to go abroad, where UN mission is going on, uh, to help uh, uh, in a humanitarian aid. Of the, uh, mainly uh, to provide veterinary aid and uh, the tenure there in uh, UN is uh, about a year. So that is also a chance once you get enrolled, you get uh, a chance to go abroad. And uh, you will be happy to know that uh, our neighboring countries, we call them FXC's friendly world countries, they all are dependent as far as animals are concerned dependent on RBC or army. We have been regularly giving uh, our horses, our breeding stock, mules, trained animals, trained dogs to Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Cambodia and regularly we are earning uh, revenues for the country and uh, earning good name for the army. These are uh, few photographs of deployment of mules in CHN base, difficult terrain, even uh, camels uh, have been tried, double hunt, uh, double hunt camel, they have been tried in Ladakh. So these are different ventures. As I told, your each day is different. You have different uh, responsibility, different commitment each day. So you really don't get bored and every day you face challenges and that will help me help in improving your uh, personality and uh, with this definitely I'm sure this will give you an insight of what you will be doing in case you get enrolled into RBC. It is a very very fascinating world and uh, definitely uh, challenging. But I'm sure the youngsters, those who are, they are sitting in front of me, they have the jazwa in them to face the odds, face the challenges. And I wish you all the very best, those who want to appear for SSB and also girl students, wish you all the very human and make a history. You should become the first uh, woman officer uh, in RBC. Wish you all the very best.